Hey y'all, real quick, uh, had another goofy audio error with recording this, so I'm gonna just skip this first part because this is where like my audio kind of phased out. Um, you saved me back in town, and now I live at the shelter you told me about. I have to donate blood regularly, but they give me food, a place to live, and clean clothes. I can sleep without fear of revenants or the lost. To me, it seems quite luxurious. I have a much better life now, thanks to you. Honestly, the, all the audio for this video is practically gone. I had to basically overdub it today. So, um, I'll just be regaling you with the tales of how I accomplished the mission. Uh, and I'll see you on the other side. Peace. straight through the mist. It'll take a bit more than that to keep us from getting lost. Let's take a break here. Oh, this? It's called onigiri. It's a kind of food that's easy to carry around. Not that there's any point in eating food for a revenant. Although we may thirst for blood, we never grow hungry. Still, I think that makes eating all the more meaningful for us. We fight. We drink blood. We revive. We fight some more. Our lives are pretty much one endless loop. But every time you go around, you almost forget that we were all human once. If I completely lost the memory of my human past, I wouldn't be me anymore. I would just be... something in the shape of me. I'd look like a revenant, but on the inside I'd be no different than the lost. What's the point of living like that? I served in the army, back before I became a revenant. We always used to eat these things when we were out on missions. I guess... It helps me remember. It was a miserable time. But I made some good friends that I shouldn't let myself forget. This stuff doesn't really taste that great. But eating it always reminds me of those friends. So, I guess you could say it helps me stay me. It's been an important companion in my life. Okay, all set. Come on, let's get going. There's a blood spring up ahead. Be careful not to lose your bearings, all right? If we get split up in this mist, we may never be able to find each other again. All right, and uh, we're back. I hope that my freaking... <laughs> I hope that NVIDIA didn't have my mic mixed up again because, oh my goodness. I just checked my settings out. I was like, dude, come on, don't do this to me again. Looks like someone has used this before. Normally, it like auto detects my mic, but recently it's been weird. I don't know what the heck is going on with NVIDIA. Uh, but it hasn't been picking up my microphone or Mist like anything. It's just been awkward. Is. Thought it would be easier to see. Uh, but now it should be good. Actually, what happened last time, which I didn't even remember, uh, I was playing Battlefront before I recorded this, and what, ha what wound up happening was I had, excuse me, what happened before was I had to turn off uh, my microphone access because the game doesn't have a toggleable microphone or voice chat function. I don't know how you release a game that doesn't have that. And with that being said, the game doesn't. So... I had to turn off microphone access to apps so that, you know, 
people I wound up playing with wouldn't be able to hear me and all this stuff. But at the same time, like me forgetting to turn it back on just jacked everything up. So yesterday was a really weird day recordings wise because uh, I don't think it was all my videos. Uh, it was definitely this in my first version of Temtem that really just got jacked up. Fortunately though, my computer crashed and I was um, recording Temtem, so yeah, that was good because it was like, hey, <laughs> this is wrong, your recordings are wrong, you're wasting your time. So that was good. Yeah, I'm panicking over here. Because my freaking Neo, again, my Neo senses were kicking in uh, as far as the gamepad was concerned. But this is not Neo, so I was like making mistakes and not dodging uh, the right times and stuff. Wait, that's... The joints got crazy. And freaking Louie, man. I think I'm gonna just really kind of cut through all of this because this is really a lot uh, to get through. This, this was this level was a lot to get through. Um, but I'm really thinking I might just cut through a lot of this because it's really just me navigating through this, and believe it or not, I actually beeline through this, and it still took up a lot of time. But with that being said. I think I'm gonna just edit through this and put up the hello I'm gonna edit through this and come back when it's the next point All right, I'm currently tracing the spring's flow. Just hold on, give me a moment. Wait, what's going on here? We have to go back to the old city ruins. There must be something we missed there. Anyway, let's get going. Stop them up. Hmm. Searching for blood beads on your own? That's awfully bold. Listen, no one here wants this to turn violent, so just hand over your blood beads. What if we don't want to? Then I'll take them. You're too late. Kid? Get away from Mia! Nicola! What are you doing out here? Because you... <coughs> He's on the verge of a frenzy. That's why you want the blood beads, isn't it? If you lay a finger on him, I'll carve out your heart. Uh, here, take this. That's for him. Give it to him, quick. No! You haven't had anything to drink, Mia. Don't be silly. Go on, it's for you. The symptoms aren't fading. Why? It's not enough, that's all. I... I just have to find more for him. Hey, come on. Going out on your own is crazy. Thanks for your concern, but we'll be all right. 
Come on, let's go. So, I don't think. Yeah, I know. Oh man, sometimes you just gotta Let's take go the after. hint. She said, "Don't follow." I mean, obviously this is an anime game, so it more than likely is gonna turn out that you know uh, given the progression of anime games it would not be surprising to have her as an ally But then again, it could be mistaken because the other guy was like maybe sort of kind of a standout character, the guy in the city, and he wound up just not doing anything <laughs> for us. So, really, it depends. See this lever too? We're done here soon. All right, so at this part, I oh yeah, I realized that freaking I realized the chasm underneath the water that I did not realize. I almost walked right over that thing and just flat out died. Looks like we've got some trouble. What's that? Yeah. To work this. Gotta let people know when you're recording. Uh, all right, this guy. Yeah, I was going to go get the freaking. Oh my goodness, the switch. And wound up. Yeah, like you know what, this guy might have it. He. Ooh, Lewis. But yeah, I wound up being like, yo, this guy might have it. And ironically, as it turns out, as it turns out, he actually did have it. <laughs> and the whole time I'm sitting over here like, are you serious? Because one thing I remember about this level is walking through the high water areas like that. It really screws with your dodging, and I really don't like that, so. I was like, nah, man, I'm trying to find whoever has this key first. I'm not trying to thug it out through here. And I don't know if it affects the boss fight or not, but I wouldn't want to take that risk anyway. Yeah, I was so amazed right here. I was like, what? Everything is so freaking clear. Everything is so good. I can actually move in this area now and knock out these minions. These giant freaking mantid minions. Honestly, the first time I did this, I was like, dude, this is actually a really weird place. I don't know how you turn into a bug, but it's mega weird. Mega, mega weird. And I'm like, just moving through it. And oh god, this guy. Okay, I ran into this guy. I didn't, I totally forgot about this. I ran into this guy and was like, what the what? Yup. There we go. There we go. Did not know he did that. I did not know he did that. That threw me off. I was mad like careful with this boss right after that because I was like dude he can like end me <laughs> he over here oh my goodness if you ever played a MOBA or I play smite so if you ever play smite 
Like, you know as soon as an enemy runs up to you, it's it's up to no good. And you just gotta stay away. I just wasn't paying attention because this is a Souls game and not Smite, but all of my senses all of my senses were kicking in. As I played this, I was like, dude, nah, please don't. There you go, goodbye. take long. Let's consider heading back. On my way. Rain is difficult. Water is lower. It's easier to walk. Water is drink. It's still slippery. Something we can use? here. Take 
Yeah, so I, I just left and freaking got the key. Everything's clear now, so it shouldn't be that much of a pain. Um, I don't think I should have to do too much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I should be able to get there. So, let me just go hand that, up, hand that over. Yeah, handle that. Here's this guy. No thanks. There you go. That's it. <laughs> oh god, I hate that I do that. Yo, it feels so weird. Again, it feels so weird when you play Neo, like, for so long. You have so many freaking hours, and you're like so acclimated to it. And then you get back on a game like this with similar controls, but certain key things are different, or like switched around, and it's like, it wasn't easy, was it? it's really just it like dis disrespecting your muscle memory in every way. Yeah, I found the freaking the thistle because I was like, or thistle or missile, whatever. I found that because I was like, I need help. I need healing. I won't take long. Oh my goodness. It's such a shame, dude. It's such a shame I don't have my original audio for here because, oh my goodness. This terrain is difficult. Why? Oh well. Yeah, in the interest of time for this <clears throat> for this video. That was her. Hurry. Uh I'll just skip through we got something we can use? A lot of this. Oh no, I'm already here at the boss fight. Okay, cool. Is that a seafloor oil extraction facility? Playing a hero Where do you run off to? to every female he sees. No restraint, no nothing. These ashes are the boys. He's going for it. Something's coming. Oh, this okay, this scene didn't make sense to me, and I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna tell you why after all of this. So that scene where she's like swimming through the water, uh, the thing that comes out, I'm pretty sure is like her leg. So I'm over here like, how are you, how are you swimming? How are you swimming through water like that? Yeah, man. See, I already like this is the one part where my neo senses were actually sort of kind of on point because I was ducking her with like an ultra instinct level of swiftness. There we go. See. I'm over here just making it happen. I still didn't get the hang of that ability, so I kept going in front of her or like around her when I would use it. And I would be like, oh god, why, 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 why? But it's cool. And then Lewis, for some reason, Louis doesn't know to back up when he's like fighting an enemy like that. So, oh yeah, then this happened. <laughs> But she somehow still got me. That's really weird. I couldn't dodge the same fight a little bit. Yeah. I still had the... Uh, the wet effect. Oh, I dodged that! Oh my god. Ooh. Oh gosh. That happened. Lewis. Okay, good. Yeah. 
Yeah, man, she freaking just takes she takes Louis out only because he keeps running <laughs> up to her. Like he's the one ally I have at this point that does decent uh, ranged attacks, and he did not use them. <clears throat> he did not use them for the main duration of this fight, which was like, what? What is going on with you? Oh yeah, then this. I'm like, Louis, do something long range. What are you doing? Oh my God, no, no. He's like going through the time to uh oh. Ooh. Yeah, man, I'm telling you, my man, my dodge skills are so freaking good, dude. It's just, oh my god. Bro. <laughs> okay, that's, that's one move I do, like, from Louis to teleport slash. But, oh man, come on. Yeah, I died here. Yeah, I definitely died there. <laughs> Got mega, they got mega stupid right there. All right, round two. Show me what you got. Oh. Yeah, look, at, bro, look at that. Get out of here. I got you. You're done. You're done. Actually, let me be quiet. I don't think I beat her. I'll, no, let me see. Let me see. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I held it down this time. I'm pretty positive. I wouldn't, you know, bet money on it, but I think this boss was. Uh, oh no! No! I thought I handled her. Damn. You're back. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no no. Sorry. I'm on my way. That was hurtful, man. Dang. Don't worry, you can win this. All right, all right. I think I got it this time. I don't even remember how many attempts this took. This might have been like my third and last attempt. I'm hoping it was, because I was just so confused. After that last time, I was not taking her lightly anymore. I was like, nah, this one can literally one-shot me. I'm not trying to play that game. There we go. Nice. And see, when Louie uses his moves... When Louie uses his moves, it actually helps. It's when he doesn't use them, and he's just, like, cheesing it. Oh yeah, and I switched to the um, musket or bayonet, rather musket, bayonet, whatever, whichever ones they are. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness, dude! No, no! Yo, this was so tense. This was so freaking tense. Cause this boss one shots. I'm not used to the fun of bosses. Yeah, one shotting like that. So in the original recording, I'm over here like almost panicking because I'm like, dude, she's not supposed to be this strong. What is going on? Then I remember in the back of my mind, this is the enhanced difficulty. So she is supposed to be this strong. Dude. <laughs> Why? Get up. There we go. No, my dodging of that move is like really something else. Oh no. Yeah, this has to be the last time because this, this, 
uh, the way I'm playing right now feels particularly tense. Especially because of Lewis. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, specifically because of Lewis, my life feels so hard in this game. Oh, yeah. It's so bad. Yo, but look at me with these dodges, though. Yup. Oh, man. Yeah, she loves doing that move. Did I look for my... Hold on. Because, yeah, my Icor is mad low right here. So I think I wanted to use better moves on her, but it was like just... Ooh. Oh, I thought that was another move. Never mind. Lewis needs to stop like he can't get one-shotted, man. The AI in this kind of disappoints me sometimes, because it just be doing stuff like it can't be hurt. And I'm like... If you get taken out, I don't know if I have what it takes to revive you again. That was an awesome dodge. That was not an awesome dodge. Awesome, though. Yeah, and I know it's right here. I'm sweaty. I'm mad sweaty over here. I'm out of heals. I'm like, dude, this, this can't go on. There it is. Nice, 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 nice. I pulled it off. Whew, man, that was ultra mega sweaty, man. I could not deal with that. Damn it. She's like, my brother just got Thanos snapped. Ooh. Oh, goodness. It's hard to imagine how many holes are in my hand right now. Like, if she takes those, like, gloves, it's over. The glove and I are one now. <laughs> Sheesh, man. She got, <laughs> this game got me looking like Curly from A Mice and Men. I'll be, I'll be back. back. Sorry, Sorry, but it's, but time. it's time. You shouldn't sleep, sleep so late, late you know. know. Yeah, I don't do these memories a ton, but hey. This place. I'm gonna hate this place. I just know it. Cause this place was not fun. Uh just in the normal difficulty. <laughs> going through this was not that fun. So going through it again, uh uh uh. I think that memory was from the boy. What exactly was going on? You don't even wanna know, Lewis. Is something there? 
You saw who was there with the kid, right? How do you think those two know each other? What the hell is going on? Alright, so we're about to enter Kingdom Hearts levels of cutscene. So, you know, just grit your teeth, bear with all the anime. I'm gonna talk minimally through this, and I do mean minimally. Observe. Was all of that. Damn. She's losing herself. She needs blood this. Right. Then we're going back to base. Are you there? I'll be back. Wait, let me go with you. You shouldn't sleep so late, you know. Oh, there she goes. She's a Kingdom Hearts character now. She doesn't have to fall like Sora, she just walks. I want to keep Mia safe. Okay, yeah, uh, I don't care how Japanese or whatever anime you think this is. I'm not cool with uh, camera panning up a child, so I'm going to definitely blur that out because I'm just not cool with it. Call it what you want. It's still a child. Ugh, so is she. But that means... What 
exactly is going on here anyway? Why does every blood vein we find lead back to the old city ruins? The key to finding the source is there. That's all I can say for certain. Huh, sure. But we've been everywhere we can... Try here. You know the statue of the goddess in the ruins? There's a mechanism inside of it. I see. So that's our ticket. A hey, are you sure you should be up and about? Yeah, it's okay. Sorry for causing you so much trouble. I'm fine now. I hope I'll get a chance to repay you. That information is more than enough. There is a favor I'd like to ask. I'd like you to tell me how to get here. Please, it's... It's really important to me. I'll pay you back, I promise. I'd love to tell you. If I knew. I'm not sure of the path there myself. Other than that, it's sealed off by my asthma. I see. Sorry, I don't mean to make demands of you. It's not impossible, though. We were able to pass through the miasma. <laughs> Thanks to our friend here. If you decide to stay with us, I'm sure we'll find the way to your snowy mountain eventually. Of course, you would need to help us out with our objective first. I'm glad to do whatever you need me to. As long as I end up reaching my destination. We have a deal. Good to have you along. Likewise. Well, great. I guess that's settled then. You are now officially one of our friends. Friends? I'm Yakimo. This brainiac here is Louie. And... Huh? Where'd Murasame and Io get to? I mean, if that's okay. It is. Actually, I don't think we've gotten your name yet. Oh, I'm Mia Karnstein. And I'm good in a fight if you guys ever need the help. Yeah, you sure did a number on Yakumo. Seriously, that really hurts. <laughs> Glad to have you on our side, Mia. Everyone's stuff is fixed up and ready to go. Oh, you're an angel, Murasame. Sorry we're always piling up the work on you. Well, you'll find the source for sure this time, right? I look forward to hearing your report when you get back. Look at all this stuff. Did you gather it yourself? Oh, you're feeling better. That's great. I was worried about you. Hey, you and I are about the same age, aren't we? We're gonna be besties, I can tell. Uh, she's like that with everyone. Just smile and nod and it'll be fine. Now, now, those aren't for you, Eo. We wouldn't want you to get hurt. 
That's right. No need to rush recklessly into battle. There are people waiting for us at home, after all. And without them, well, where would we be? Oh, Yakumo looks sad. <laughs> Give me a break. And don't look at me like that. It's no big deal, okay? My friends are important. They're like family to me. My friends were all scattered after the Great Collapse. I don't even know if any of them survived. But every time we go somewhere new, I keep an eye out for them. Anyway, I count myself lucky. And I went through some really nasty rejections back when I became a revenant. Honestly, I was right on the brink of losing myself. It was my friends that pulled me back, kept me safe. <laughs> Bunch of sentimental fools. I'll keep him safe, no matter what happens. That's how much my friends mean to me. And now I've got three more sheep to look after. A man's work is never done. So just don't worry about it. Well, you're in awfully high spirits. What do you mean? Uh, normally, you've got eyes like a dead fish. But now, you actually seem alive for once. I'm just glad you found some friends to cheer you up. Friends? I suppose you're right. Looks like everyone has gone to rest. It seems more cheerful here now. The atmosphere has brightened a lot since we first came. You have the strength to overcome any obstacle in your path. A curious individual indeed. Recently, I've been puzzled. Is possible. I want to stay with you, just like the others. I think a lot about how I would like to come with you and help to make a difference, but it cannot be. I am unable to fight, so I would only put you in danger. I have to continue doing what I must. That much I am sure of.
All right, if you have survived the movie that was Code Vein for the past, like, I don't even know how long, I'll probably see it when I'm editing this. For out of Congratulations. <laughs> You've survived first, check out Code Hearts old city ruins. for, like, 30 minutes Let me know if you for need. a movie of freaking cutscene. Not that I don't appreciate it. I love when games, like, actually put time in and, like, commit to actually making a, a game feel fleshed out. Shout out to Neo. Fleshed out. <laughs> Shout out to Neo. Um, aside from that, I think this is where I'll Thank you. cut it off. Really we came and did a bunch of stuff, so Thank you. next time I'll be more on top of the audio settings. I'll um, have the audio and everything fixed for the next Code Bang video. Uh, for right now, this will just be a little something different. So, until then, uh, have fun, everybody. <laughs>